What if the hero of Dragon Age Dreadwolf is actually the Inquisitor? But it can't be the Inquisitor girl because that teaser trailer said it wasn't. But did it really? Because I just thought of something that could very possibly mean that Bioware went out of their way to trick us into thinking it wasn't the Inquisitor when it actually was. Now bear with me, I know in the past Bioware has never used the same hero twice, but it's not to say they couldn't. And Dreadwolf is the only Dragon Age game that is actually occurring consecutively with the same bad guy. It's essentially happening right after the events of DA3. I mean, technically Corypheus was the bad guy from Dragon Age 2 as well, but for people who didn't play the DLC, well, they wouldn't even know he existed. Whereas Solus was someone you couldn't ignore. He was a party member, he was integral to the story, and even if you didn't play Trespasser, you would still know about him. Before I say any more, let me throw a quick warning out there that there are spoilers for Trespasser in here, which is the DLC ending to the game. With that said, let's break down the 2020 teaser trailer completely and see if maybe we can't all agree that there is a very good possibility that the next hero could be the Inquisitor. I face tyrants and would be gods. I believe this is talking about the events of DA2 and his interactions with Flemeth and Solus, aka Mithal and Fen Harel, over the course of both games. Seen friends lose life and limb. This is likely talking about all of the possible deaths that can occur, especially Hawk and Inquisition. But there's always someone bent on breaking the world. In this case, we know that's Solus, and in the most recent past of DA3, Corypheus. Now for the super critical part of the trailer, the part where Varric talks about the hero of the next game. It's time for a new hero. This line is the most conflicting of the entire trailer for my theory, but it doesn't have to be an end all be all. It could simply mean a new type of hero or a reimagined Inquisitor, i.e. not someone leading an Inquisition, but someone filling another role. Like maybe the Inquisitor runs off and joins the Crows and works from the shadows. <laughs> no, no, I mean, that's not actually going to happen. But you know what I mean. It's all about perception and how you look at it. No magic hand. Now this line probably throws most of you for a loop too, because well, the Inquisitor was all about that magic hand that could close rifts. But, but the Inquisitor's magic hand is removed at the end of Trespasser. So technically the fact that there is no magic hand actually supports the possibility that it could be the Inquisitor. No ancient prophecy. The kind of person they'll never see coming. This set of lines is a little confusing. For instance, I'm already wondering who the they is that will never see them coming. The obvious answer is the Dreadwolf's agents and maybe some bad guys into Vinter. But on the other hand, they could be talking about us, the fans. And if everything Bioware just told us was deterring us away from thinking it was the Inquisitor, then yeah, we would never see it coming, right? We've got your back. I've got your back. This is especially telling to me because who is he talking about? Why would they have some strangers back? Why does everyone have this hero's back unless they already had a following to begin with, like the Inquisition? So even if I'm wrong and it's not the Inquisitor, I feel like it has to be someone from the Inquisition, someone from that circle, someone Varric and all his friends would get behind, right? How does it make sense otherwise? Demons. Dragons, dark spawn, even the dread wolf. This is your story. Now, this just tells us more of what we already know to expect from Dragon Age games. There have to be dragons, there are probably going to be demons, and I usually like to see more Darkspawn than I did in Inquisition, but there's also Solus, and we know not only from the newly released Dreadwolf title that he is going to be our main antagonist. But most of all, when he says, 
this is your story, that's the line that gets my thoughts racing. Do they mean it in a simple sense, like this is the player's story? Or do they mean it like this is your existing story, which especially ties back into the original line of having the heroes back, the familiarity that is already existing with this hero. And that could just be us the player, but it could also be us the Inquisitor, and that this story is continuing from where it left off. I know a lot of people still won't be convinced, but you have to consider that they really can't leave out the Inquisitor from this next game. Think about a female Lavellan who romanced Solus, who went through the heartbreak and then found him again in Trespasser and pleaded with him to give up this fight. He still refers to Lavellan as his Venon, his heart and his love, and kisses her with the saddest of expressions on his face. There is still something there between them, and even though Solus is playing hardball now, it won't necessarily always be that way. Why even have the scene available if there wasn't a way to choose the future, about what the Inquisitor, what the player, will do with Solus in the next game? And there's a more specific part in the ending of Trespasser that plays during the end game panels, where it actually says, Lavellan sometimes came awake from dreams in which her lover watched her from across an endless distance. And most important is that last line where it says, still she searched and dreamed and waited for a way to change the dread wolf's heart. Eh? Eh? Even if you didn't romance Solus, him and the Inquisitor were still close. It still was a betrayal. And that sort of cliffhanger can't just be left hanging. It needs to be resolved. And in the very end of the game, past the panels, there is a scene where your Inquisitor is standing around a table in a leaky room. Cassandra, Leliana, and Harding are all there as they discuss Solus's agents. At the very end, the Inquisitor stabs a knife right into the Deventer Imperium. So I'm telling you, the Inquisitor will return as the main hero. At the very least, just in case the development was completely shaken up and they decided to just toss anything from the ending of the third game, they'd still need the Inquisitor to return in some fashion to help. Sort of like they did in DA3 with Hawk. I'm just hoping they don't take this route because this is the Inquisitor's fight and I really don't see how it can be anyone else. Earlier, I mentioned that it might be someone from the Inquisition, but that's not really possible either because you'd need to be able to customize your character. You can't just take over a template of Varric, for instance, Sarah, or Dorian. It's gonna happen. It has to happen. There's too much left unsaid, and the Inquisitor has too much invested in Solus to just not care. That choice at the end of Trespasser to redeem Solus or to say you can't let him do it it's setting an in-game flag for something, and I think it'll have to do with how the Inquisitor deals with him in the next game. And there's even the choice of what to do with the Inquisition that has direct results listed, i.e. keep the Inquisition together, but you have to worry about corruption, or to dissolve it and have weaker forces against Solus. These choices have to be relevant somehow for the next game. And there's even another part from the endgame panels that made me think, the one specifically about what Dorian does. It talks about how he returns to Tevinter and tries to redeem the nation's name. And there's a very specific part where it says, those fighting by Magister Pavis's side noticed that he kept in constant communication with the Inquisitor via message crystal. Whether for vital information or for moral support, these talks seem to give Dorian the strength to continue his fight. Most think there's a really good chance that Dorian will be in the future game because he's from Tevinter and he went back to Tevinter. So now we have even more proof that they've been keeping in constant contact. Doesn't that make it even more likely that the Inquisitor will be in the game too? It's funny, I was just sitting around on a Sunday looking through some of the latest news when I started thinking about this old 2020 trailer and then it hit me after being fully convinced by their wording that there would be no more Inquisitor, that I might be wrong. After listening to Varric's words again and just thinking over what happened in Inquisition and Trespasser, I think it's a really good possibility. And could you imagine the zinger? How many people would be completely surprised when they found out the Inquisitor was coming back? I mean, people would freak out. But I know it's still a long shot. I could be completely off base here, but I wouldn't be surprised at all if the Inquisitor did come back. I just don't see a lot of scenarios like the one from the Inquisition to gather up a whole new crew of existing companions like Varric and whoever else is coming back. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. 
Thanks for tagging along for my rant about the next Dragon Age hero. Do you think there's a chance that it will be the Inquisitor? Or are you just really hoping that it is? Or do you want someone new altogether? Thanks again to my patrons. I appreciate your support so much. If you want to join my Patreon, the link is down in the info below and you can pledge whatever amount you want and get access to all of my books. I write a lot of romance that tends to have smut in it. <laughs> I also have some audiobooks there and am looking to add more readings from other game related books as well. Thank you to my other subs who always leave a like and a comment like Tamila and Ragnarok. I'm also planning to stream part two of my Cyberpunk 2077 playthrough on YouTube tonight at 9 p.m. Central Time. I'll probably play anywhere from two to three hours. A lot of you have been asking if I plan to stream on Twitch too. And honestly, I've been thinking about it, but I still need to set up an account. Maybe next week I'll try that out. Either way, keep up to date on my community page about when I'm going to be streaming. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you later.